seasons and weather. Hello boys and girls, my name is Liam. And my name is Frank. Welcome to our lesson. Today we have a guest. It's our classmate, Alex. Hi guys, I'm so glad to see you. Alex, we are glad to see you too. Guys, today I came to you because I want to ask you one serious question. Oh, sounds interesting. Yeah, you can ask your question, Alex. Great! Boys, what is the first thing you do in the morning? Well, I usually turn on the television. And I usually go to the bathroom and wash my hair. Alex, what about you? Well, as for me, firstly, I look out of my window to see what the weather is like today. Oh, that's interesting. Alex, could you tell us why it's the first thing you do in the morning? Yes, of course. The weather always tells me what clothes to put on and what games to play with my friends today. It's extremely important for me. Oh, we've never cared about the weather before this moment. Yeah, we don't even know how to describe it. Boys, it's not a problem. If you want, I can tell you how to do that. Oh, sure. We will be happy to learn new information. All right, let's start. So today in the lesson we will learn the definition of the term weather, discuss how to describe the weather, talk about four seasons of the year, learn new words and put the knowledge into practice. First of all, you need to know that weather is a word that people use to describe the temperature or conditions outside at a particular place and time. Let's look at the examples. Last Friday the weather was really hot or the weather was snowy at the weekends. The weather is different at different places around the planet. In some places it's sunny right now, while in other places it's snowing. Guys, what can we do to predict the weather? Do you know? No, Alex, we don't. Okay. In this case, I'll tell you. One of the ways to predict the weather is to use a thermometer. Thermometer is a tool which helps to measure temperature inside or outside. That's how it looks like. Guys, you can use a thermometer to predict the weather, but the easiest way to do that is to have a look at a calendar and find out what season it is now. Depending on the season of the year, I can wear a warm coat, a flying jacket, a sweater or a t-shirt. By the way, boys, how many seasons are there in a year? Do you know? Yes, of course. There are four seasons in a year. Liam, can you name them? Of course, I can. They are... Winter, Spring, 
Summer and autumn. Now, guys, can you help me to identify each season? Yes, of course. Great. In this case, drag the pictures to the correct seasons. So, in the first picture we can see autumn. In the second picture we see summer. In the following picture we can see winter. And in the last picture we see spring. Well done, boys! You are so clever! Oh, thank you! You're welcome! All right, now let's discuss what weather is usual for every season. Alex, but we don't know how to describe the weather. Don't worry, we will learn new words right now. What words are you talking about? I'm talking about the words which we can use to describe the weather. Oh, okay. And the words are hot. This word is translated as горячий, жаркий. For example, Mike usually drinks lots of water when it's hot. Warm. The translation is toply. Let's look at the example. The warm weather unfroze the lake. Cold. This word is translated as холодный. For example, the weather is really cold today. Frosty. The translation is морозный. Let's look at the example. Kyle doesn't want to go anywhere in such frosty weather. Windy. This word is translated as ветреный. For example, it's too windy to have a barbecue on the beach today. Cloudy. The translation is облачный. Look at the example. The weather was cool and cloudy last night. Foggy. This word is translated as туманный. Let's look at the example. It was really foggy in the morning. Sunny. The translation is солнечный. For example, tomorrow the weather will be hot and sunny. Rainy. This word is translated as дождливый. Look at the example. It was rainy yesterday, so James didn't go to the cinema. Snowy. The translation is снежный. For example, it was snowy yesterday, so I made a snowman. Boys, we've just learned new words which you can use to describe the weather. Now let's revise all the words once again. Listen and repeat after me. Hot. Warm. Cold. Frosty. Windy. Cloudy. Foggy. Sunny, rainy, snowy. Great! Now we will discuss what weather is usual for every season. Let's start with winter. In winter, it's usually cold, it's snowy, it's frosty and it's often windy. Now let's discuss the weather in spring. In spring, 
It's usually warm. It's sunny. It's often cloudy. And it can also be rainy. Now let's talk about the weather in summer. In summer. It's often hot. It's sunny. It's cloudy sometimes. And it can also be rainy. And now let's discuss the weather in autumn. In autumn. It's usually cold. It's windy. It's foggy. It's cloudy. And it's usually rainy. Guys, we've described the weather in winter, spring, summer and autumn. Yes, that's right, Alex. Now let's discuss what months these seasons include. Let's start with winter. Winter includes such months as December, January, February. The following season is spring. Spring includes such months as March, April, May. Now let's talk about summer. Summer includes the following months. June, July, August. And the last season is autumn. Autumn includes such months as September, October, November. That's all, boys! Oh, thank you, Alex! Now we know everything about the weather and the seasons. You're welcome, boys! But I would like to check your knowledge, if you don't mind. Oh, sure! And your first task is to answer the question. What season do you see in the pictures? Let's check the right answers. In the first and third pictures we see summer. In the second and eighth pictures we see spring. In the fourth and sixth pictures we see winter. And in the fifth and seventh pictures we see autumn. Now do the second task. Match the seasons with their descriptions. Let's check. In winter. It's cold, snowy, frosty and often windy. In spring. It's warm, cloudy, sunny and often rainy. In summer. It's hot, sunny and sometimes cloudy. And in autumn. It's cold, rainy, foggy and cloudy. Well done, boys! Now I see that you know everything about the weather and the seasons. That's right! Thank you so much, Alex! Oh, it's my pleasure, boys! Guys, that's all for today! See you soon!